Take care how you hear. For anyone who has will be given more. From anyone who has not, even what he thinks he has will be taken away. What is the meaning? It may sound a bit unfair, but once you understand the principle, there's a good teaching here. Take care how you hear. Because what you hear will shape your behavior and your mindset and everything. Whether you, what you hear from others or what you hear in the church or from a talk or somebody's homily or even on the news, what you hear, it affects your understanding, your mindset, your perception, your whole world view, your faith, everything. You're affected in one way or the other. So the Lord says, be careful what you listen to. If you listen to bad news all the time, it will be a recipe for depression. I mean, psychological depression. Holy, you are always tuned to bad news. You look for bad news everywhere, in the, in the newspaper, on the TV, and, and gossiping, everything. You are very keen for the bad news. It's not a good thing. On the other hand, be keen for, or I would say, search for the truth. What is the truth? Everything is not black and white, so search for the truth. That will help you. There's something more here. Simple common sense. It applies to any skill you have, any knowledge you have. The skill you have acquired or you learned. If you keep on doing it, you will go deeper into it. Suppose you know any instrument, unless you keep on practicing it, you are going to lose the skill. The same with the language. Any language, unless you practice the language, you will lose it. You know, I am from India, not to lose the touch with my, uh, my, not my mother, my North Indian language, Gujarati, where I was uh, doing my ministry work. Not to lose touch, I live every morning, during my breakfast, I listen to something in Gujarati, North India, because I don't want to lose the touch. Because when I get back for my, even my, my holiday, I need to speak some local language. An example, just a simple example. The same apply to the word of God. Apply to the word of God. The more you listen, the more you are keen to listen to the word of God, the more you will learn. Another thought, the more, if you want to increase your understanding of the word of God, try to share it. That's my advantage. Because the more I preach about it, the more I understand better. The more I, the more I talk about it, the more my understanding goes deeper. That's the way it works. The more you talk about it, you will remember it and it will help your own understanding. So not only listen to the word of God, you also keep on reading it. Keep on listening to from anywhere on YouTube or somewhere. Listen to the, uh, listen to some good talks and uh, like Bishop Barron and listen to them. Then you, oh yeah, there's a meaning. Oh, something in the Old Testament, something in the New Testament about that prophet and what did the Lord say. So you will see the connection everywhere. The point I'm making is, you and me, we need to keep on learning, listening, studying, meditating, and talking about it. Share with each other. Good to share with others the, what the thoughts you have. Because the thoughts you have, you have a, some understanding of what you have heard. But you tell somebody the same thing, and a person will say, I think this is, oh, I, key, I can see better. So my understanding and your understanding put together, I go deeper into a better understanding. See, how interesting is the word of God. Simple common sense, 
but practically it applies to our understanding of the scripture let us appreciate let us learn to love the word of god and talk about it meditate on it and study more and more from every source available